Hello everyone, today we are going to install the framework on Ubuntu 14.04. As you can see, I have installed Ubuntu 14.04 on my computer and I have installed Apache, PHP, MySQL, all of that beforehand. So now we are going to download the framework from the e framework website. E framework website. Go there and here's the download. You click on that download the tar file which is the smallest so no problem maybe it's downloading I'll pause because I've already downloaded this so let's go to my downloads folder and check that downloads here's my download I just delete this okay this is my download I'll extract it here okay next step is to rename Okay. Make sure you download the 1.1.15 because 1.1.4 had a security issue. So please upgrade if you are running one zero uh, running on the early version of E to this version. Okay, copy this. Okay, copy. Go to the www html and paste it here as you can see i have already pasted it here so next step is to create a web application okay as you know this is the apache installation and my html will be here so this is my server so i am just copying and pasting the free framework to my server simple as that okay open up your terminal Control alt t for me cd in cd in the www folder cd html cd cd framework so we are right here now cd framework ok this is the files now uh, now the command to create our first web application with the uh, e framework okay the command is full stop slash web app and go to the before directory so we have to create our web application in this html folder so we have to go back twice and let's name our project demo click press enter and yes we want to create the web application ok that's done so now let's go to the html folder and check ok right here is the demo project so let's check out our demo project localhost and demo ok as you can see we have created our first skeleton web application using the framework simple as that so one of one issue that you may run into while doing during this installation is make sure that sorry cd back again and make sure that this html folder is writable all the uh, let me clear this make sure the HTML file HTML file is writable set permissions to that folder uh, the way you do that is sudo chmod777 full permissions do it recursively recursively this R stands for do it recursively into the folders within HTML uh, HTML folder so we want to do that so HTML into the password okay and now uh, all the permissions are given list okay, as you can see all writable permissions are given to the HTML folder that's the only issue that you will get into if you haven't set permissions to this folder okay right that's it now as you can see you have we have created the first web application next time next lesson we are going to check out the login part of a normally structured new application and how it works 
Okay, see you then. Thank you very much for watching.